in this lesson i am going to discuss about job selection and how you are going to select the best job for you there are hundreds and thousands of jobs freelance jobs online and uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, methods involving and techniques involving best job selection okay so in this lesson we are going to discuss how you are going to select the best job and uh, what are the things you are you will look in a job while selecting a job in the end of the lesson i am going to show you a live example on how i am going to search a job with a keyword on upwork.com which is the biggest uh, freelance website freelance job websites so let's get started which jobs to apply for now the first thing is that you need a keyword or major skill you are looking for if you are looking for a ui design job or a developer job or html to psd to html job or php job uh, or wordpress job you should type in and search for that keyword the main problem here is a lot of new freelancers newbies they try to apply on a lot of jobs even they are not sure about it so only apply on jobs that really really match your skill set 100% or 99% read the job description in detail before applying read it one or two times at least thoroughly don't just read one paragraph or two paragraphs see all the skills or all the things asked by the client answer those questions or you need to have all those skills in your skill set now the takeaway from this section is that apply only on jobs that you are sure about don't waste the client's time and don't ruin your report with your clients or on that freelancing website also don't apply on more than 5 jobs per day don't uh, rush into applying the jobs select your jobs carefully only apply a few jobs like 3 to 5s 5 uh, jobs per day because most of these freelance websites they have a limit on bidding okay you cannot apply on more than like 10 jobs in a week so use that wisely now what are the things you are going to look for while applying for a freelance job number 1 is experience level of your client i have discussed it in another lecture you can see over here you can see the next lecture which is about right client selection then you can also see the client's budget and deadline of project if you cannot meet the deadline you are out of your way you should not apply on that job okay also you need to look for the competition how many applicants have already applied on that job so keep that in mind this can increase or decrease your likeliness of hiring also you are going to look for feedback about client if the client has a very uh, poor feedback you should not apply on that job otherwise you will end up having a very bad rating and ruining your freelance profile with that client okay now the takeaways are make sure you are applying on the right job and you know what you are doing make sure everything deadline budget everything meets you accordingly and you can easily do that in that budget and that timeline also check for freelance competition you need to check for the competition because it is going to be if like 70 freelancers have applied on that job there are less chances that you are going to be hired okay now which jobs you are going to avoid on freelance sites there are few tips i am going to give you jobs with a very poor client's feedback if the client have a very poor feedback from previous freelancers then you should not take that job jobs that don't fit your skill set if you if the clients have asked few tools or skill sets that they really need and you don't know how to use them you should not apply on that if the deadline is very tight you should not or it's impossible you cannot do it in one day or two days you should not waste the time of your client also there are jobs that are very cheap rates like uh, create a website for me in just 5 dollars okay so never try to apply on those jobs these jobs are really going to ruin your freelance profile and your freelance career also there are jobs that have very vague description uh, like uh, one or two lines that says okay i opened up a job description and it says i need a website okay and there is nothing else about it now i need a website means many things whether you need a, a logo for the website you need the design for that website you need coding for that website whether it is going to be a wordpress website or e-commerce website what do you need basically the client is missing every description okay if you face something like that you need to see the takeaways right now if you, the client have poor feedback or poor rating or reviews or deadline is very tight you should not apply on that job also if you are worried about the job description you don't know what the clients need you should ask questions okay 
before applying to that job or you should try to ask questions about that job so to make sure that you know what you are going to do for that client so this is all about job selection and what you are going to look for jobs uh, on a freelance site let's see an example live example now here is an example of a job with very less uh, description you can see over here uh, writing specs for software web app website i need uh, someone to create good specs okay i understand that and ask him to start working on it okay now he need a writer with a lot of good specs you need to see the client reviews over here there are a lot of skills he has listed over here you need to see whether you fit for them it is a one time project okay there are few more filtering questions he has asked over here you should answer those uh, accordingly okay also you can see he has uh, applied for at least 90% these doesn't matter much you need to apply on it okay if this uh, these skills match you and the details Uh, are good to go you should apply on it you can see over here uh, this is the response other free, uh, freelancers have given about this client you can see very bad experience is not responsive so sometimes bad clients they don't respond for like weeks uh, which can really slow down your work and it can really hurt you uh, in the long run so this is you can see over here also this uh, uh, he he is a bit shaky i can say that this client's image is a bit shady you should not try to apply on this job okay now you can see over here this is a new client and uh, i think he is already interviewing one person over here okay so already the people applied have uh, they have applied like 5 to 10 people have already applied on this job he have a very good work history over here like you can see over here so you should uh, try to submit a proposal for this job Uh, start date you can see over here 12 october so if you are busy before that date make sure that you can start from this time uh, read this description you can see over here they have there are bullet points read it fully see the uh, requirements over here javascript web design web development if you are good at all these things uh, you should uh, apply on this job so these are the things you need to keep in mind also you can see over here what kind of job it is hourly Uh, expert level he needs expert level person over here and uh, you should try you can also save this job if you want to apply it uh, after some time or maybe later at night or tomorrow but uh, uh, try to apply it as early as possible like in, you can see 5 to 10 applicants are very uh, low you can uh, easily compete with them Uh, let's see how many have applied over here okay so also you can see over here there are upgrade membership to see how much uh, connects and other perks you can get a lot of perks and also you can see uh, whether this job have a high rate average rate or low rate of application and what average hourly rate has been applied on this job so you can shape your job proposal according to that okay so these are all the tips you can use to apply on any job so let's move on to the next lesson